First of all, the Shivalsky horse training is continuing and going well. We're managing to get her used to the idea that a hand being close to her is not a bad thing, and she is certainly tolerating a lot more than she used to. Mr Ming is also grasping the basic concepts behind training really well, and he still really enjoys the sessions. We also had another children's workshop, this time focusing on the primates. The kids had great fun getting messy, making flower glue to stick seeds inside pine cones and on sheets of cardboard. They were very excited by the project and the macaques had a wonderful day playing with all their newly made enrichment. Next up we had the success of browse provision. We started giving elephant grass, which usually gets fed just to the hoostock, to other species as well. Some eat it, others just play with it, but it's a great, quick and cheap resource to use to encourage natural behaviours. We also started feeding some of the hoostock from a height too, to encourage them to stretch out their muscles and take longer to eat their food, all of which have been a great success. One tiny, tiny problem with the amazing elephant grass enrichment, uh, and that's that it's really irritating to the skin. So I've carried a load over from elephants and now my arms are itchy, my stomach is itchy, uh, through my t-shirt, everything's really itchy. Oh, nice. I've also been encouraging the keepers to scatter feed around an enclosure rather than just leaving it in a pile for the animals to find. This has had mixed results, but it has actually encouraged the animals to work harder to find their food, and the keepers have been quite interested to watch the increased activity levels of their charges as well. And finally we come to the epic saga of the curtain. On advice from experts, we wanted to create a visual barrier to reduce the aggression between the moon bears. This took an awful lot of effort and determination from everybody involved. The keepers behind me are some of the hardest working people I've ever met um, on this project. So, as you can see, they are working through their lunch break, it's officially their lunch break right now, and they're determined to get this hammock finished as soon as possible so that we can get it in for the bears. And they're really excited, so they still have energy to be excited. It's about 34 degrees, intense humidity, and they are insisting on carrying on. I've told them that they need to rest and they really want to get this done. So it's wonderful to see and I take my heart off to them because I'm exhausted too. And they are insisting on carrying on. They're amazing people. Finally, after lots of hard work, the curtain eventually went into the bear enclosure and after the obligatory keeper test to make sure that it's completely safe to use, we let the bears out to see what their thoughts were. It's been great to see that the bears can get away from each other if they want to, or indeed they can say hello to each other if they want to as well. But it's been a really new and interesting thing. It has reduced aggression, and the bears like to use it to play other sorts of games too. It's been a fantastic time here at the zoo with lots of happy keepers and happy animals.